You are watching this video because your pan is stuck to the glass top stove. I figured out how to get that pan to break free from there without causing damage to the stove top. And I will show you how. It's actually pretty easy. So we were cooking and we shut off the stove and went and ate our dinner and came back to clean up and the pan is stuck. I can't twist it. I can't pry it up. Uh, I've tried one end, I've tried the other, I've tried both hands on both sides to put equal pressure and I see that the glass top started to flex. You could definitely damage your stove top by continually trying to remove that pan. So then the next thing we did was took the spatula underneath and tried to chip away at whatever is making it stuck. And a lot of times what happens is your food boils over and gets underneath and um, then creates uh, a sticky adhesive which makes your pan then stick to the glass top stove. In our case we set the pan down when it was a little warm and got a little plastic from a package onto it. Didn't know it. We could smell a little burning but didn't know that it was underneath the pan. So now the pan is stuck to the glass top stove and right away I started thinking we're going to have to replace the entire stove top maybe even the entire unit. The appliance is shot. But then I simply reached up, turned the burner back on to the heat that we had, maybe put a little water in there to protect your pan. We're gonna put a little something into that pan so that you're not burning all the food that's left over because obviously you have not been able to wash it yet. Okay, so now we got that pan heated up and you just start trying to twist. The reason I say to twist is because if you lift, you're going to possibly crack the surface of your glass stove top. So instead of doing that, we're gonna give it a twisting motion. And look at that, it's starting to break free. And then I lift, lift one side. An adhesive that's across the entire bottom of this has a lot of strength. But if you lift one end, or even provide a twisting motion, twist and lift one side and now your pan is free. Your pan is still hot and you've gotten your pan to break free. This is the time to not set it down somewhere else on the stove surface or on the counter or anywhere else, not even on a hot pad because it's going to re-adhere to whatever surface you put it on. So make sure your sink is ready and people are out of the way and carefully as that pan cools off, walk over and set it in your sink. Dump out any remaining contents and I would just recommend just just set it down and let it cool off. Be sure to warn other people in your home that there's a hot pan sitting there because they, their tendency is they're gonna think it's room temperature and they might go up and grab it and burn their hand. You're gonna have some residue left on your burner and you're gonna always want to keep a razor blade because that, that's how you do clean your stovetop. Right now is not the time to do it because this is indicating it's still hot. Now that your stove top has cooled down somewhat, use a cleaner that's approved by your owner's manual and get in there when it's still fairly warm but not hot and spray it with that cleaner and scrape off all of the uh, material that's making your pan stick. Wipe your blade free and continue working with it. Now remember, you're working with a razor blade and a hot surface combination for disaster, right? So you're going to have to be very careful. They probably even sell uh, tools that you can clean your stove top with. But really all you need is a razor blade. And then just keep cleaning it off and you're going to get all that sticky surf substance off the surface of your glass top stove. So the key to removing this pan is to put the heat back on and melt that substance that caused the adhesion between your pan and your stove top. Once you heat it up, simply twist it off and you're free and clear. And you don't have to buy a new stove. Did I just make your day? Have any of you ever had an experience with a pan being stuck to your glass top stove? Make comments below and let me know if you find this video helpful to you and if you have any other tips for other people. When I figure out life hacks or things that create problems in my life, and I figure out the answer, I love to share it with you guys. Hope you found this helpful, and if you did, you might want to check out our other family videos. We have a lot of fun here in life. Thanks for watching Frosty Life.